Next, we'll look into the how to select your rail section. So now the selection of rail section is with respect to the what should be the weight of the rail need to be provided. So you will manufacture your rail section. What should be the weight it should have? And so usually it will be a, a represent in terms of weight per unit length. How much weight you should have per meter length of your rail section. And also how to select your length of the rail section. So this will be studied in the further slides. Okay. So now what first we'll move on to the how to choose your weight of the rail section. So now whatever the weight of the rail section that we choose, that will depend upon the sum of the factors. So those factors that include the speed of the train, train and what is the gauge of the train. Gauge is nothing but the distance between the inner end of your wheels. And what is the axle load? How much you are, the train is carrying, the load is carrying. And nature of the traffic, how frequently your trains are moving. And what are the type, what type of the rail you have provided and the spacing between the sleepers or that you can also call it as the sleeper density. And the what is the maximum permissible wear on the top of the rail. So all these factors will decide see what is the weight of the rail. So now one thing you should remember here, uh, maximum permissible wear on the top of the rail. So that is uh, restricted to 5% of the weight of the rail. So if you if you see the wear is greater than 5%, that rail section need to be removed and replaced by the new rail section or that has to be repaired. So anyways, we will then discuss detail about what is this wear and what is this the limits, all these things that will be discussed again in the defects of the rails. But uh, whenever you calculate the weight of the rail, so you should also keep in mind that um, you should there should be a 5% provision has to be given for the uh, wear and tear of the rail. And uh, also, as, it, as I already told you, the rail is designated by what is the weight per unit length, per meter length of the rail section, what should be the rate, uh, weight of the rail that need to be provided. And uh, I also know that maximum axle load that can be carried by the any particular rail that depends upon its weight. So, however, I mean, I mean to say that heavier the rail section, bigger would be the, uh, if your train is carrying the heavier load, uh, we require the more weight in the rail section. So, and um, uh, uh, summarizing it, heavier the rail, bigger would be the section and heavier would be the load carrying capacity of the rail section. And now how to calculate the weight? what is the weight requirement for unit length how to calculate it so in india the we are having a practice that the capacity of your rail section can be calculated using this relationship so that is the uh, ratio the ratio of sectional weight of the rail so that is nothing but weight per unit length so that divided by maximum axle load carried by the train that will be equal to 1 divided by 500 10. For example, how to work out your load. For example, your locomotive, your train is carrying a axle load of 22.86 tons. So now to carry this load of 22.86 tons, what should be the weight of the rail required? So we know that maximum axle load given is 22.86, just cross multiply it. So we will come out with the value of 44.82 kg per meter. So that means to say that we require approximately 45 kg per meter length of the rail section. So this is how we can work out your what is the rail a weight of the rail required in other way so if you provide the uh, if you have the weight of uh, weight is provided it to 50 kg rail instead of 45 i have 50 kg rail so now what is the maximum load carrying capacity so axle load is equal to 51 55 10 into 52 so that is gives you the uh, uh, 22.86 Ton. So, like this we can work out what is the uh, maximum load the train, uh, rail section can carry. So, remember this uh, relationship between the what is the maximum uh, sectional weight of the rail to the maximum load that is equal to 1 divided by 15. So, uh, based upon this we will work out what is the uh, requirement of the uh, weight in the any particular rail section. So, now here whatever this value we have got. 45 kg this is including the wear including 5 percentage wear 
okay and now in india the standard rail sections what are all available is 45 kg per meter 60 kg 72 kg and also some of the other 90 or 75 or 60 or and 50 r so these are stand for the, the british revised um, revised british specification so anyways in uh, india the most commonly used are 50 kg and um, 52 kg and 60 kg rail section for your broad gauge track so it is it will have higher uh, load carrying capacity compared to the 45 kg track so that's why it has been more fragmented recently it has been uh, almost all your broad gauge tracks in the indian railways are using either 60 kg or 52 kg length of uh, weight of the rail section next is uh, uh, how to decide your length of the rail section so now here uh, length is respect to we will manifest as already told you to have a continuous track the number of rail sections are connected with the help of fish plates and fish pole so now here the length is nothing but what is the length of the one rail section how you have to manufacture it what are all the limits to it okay so that will be discussed now so it is seen that whenever you increase the length of the rail you can increase and uh, reduce the number of the fish plates and fish boards the fastenings that have been used okay so as i told you earlier so each and every rail sections is connected with the help of the fish plates and fish boards so now when you increase the number length of the rail section you can actually reduce the number of joints that have been used joints required and that will lead to the less cost of construction and also the joints are one which are having a weakest point so whenever you reduce the number of joints that will add to the stability of the rail section so but uh, wrongles, um, longer rail sections are also economical and it will provide the full smooth and comfortable riding, riding. But uh, it is not possible for you to manufacture any rail length. So the length of the rail is restricted because of the some of the factors. Those factors include so uh, when during the construction of your railway tracks, if the length of the track is length of the rails is too high, so the transporting such longer rails or especially on a particular curve, it is very difficult for you and handling the longer rail so because the rails will have a heavy weight handling that longer rails is also difficult and difficulty in manufacturing the long rails also and also uh, whenever uh, you length of the rails increases the expansion gaps what you have provided that also need to be increased so that there is a difficulty with there to acquiring the bigger expansion joint with the use of long rails and when you use the longer rails so heavy internal thermal stresses are um, developed along the wrong rail section so these are the some of the difficult uh, difficulties to manufacture your rail section of the longer length so now what are the limits and what are the limits for considering the length of what is the maximum length of the rail section available so that we will look into the further slide so in Indian railways, the standardized rail length has been restricted to 13 meter for the broad gauge rail and 12 meter for the meter gauge and narrow gauge tracks. So anyways, now in Indian railways, we are planning to use the rail of a greater length. So that means to, I mean to say that the length has been increased. I'm sorry, there's a mistake over here. We are uh, planning to have the 65 meter to 78 meter long length rail section for broad gauge tracks anyways that uh, has been already proposed in the construction of the railway track in sale bali and we are also planning to manufacture the rails of greater length that is up to a length of 130 meters so now here in the table here will gives you the what are the standard rail sections and the rail length for example for the broad gauge rent so for standard rail section this is with respect to the weight that should have a minimum weight of 60 kg per meter or 52 kg per meter so the type of this section we call it as the uic or irs so this uic or nothing but the the specification uic for international uh, specification irs is our indian railway standards and rbs is for the revised british standards okay so for 60 kg per meter rail section we require the length of the rail manufacturer is 13 meter similarly for 52 kg per meter this is as per our indian standards we here also we are almost in par with the 
international specification that is we are manufacturing the 13 meter length of the railway track so as i already told you in india we are also aiming to manufacture the rail section of the greater length okay so there is a one more possibility to increase the alternative to increase the length of the rail section that is by providing the welding provide make your joints weld instead of connecting with the fish plates and fish board weld your different rail section so with the help of the welding so we can achieve the greater length so now with the use of various technologies that have been um, available we can have the welding we two types of welding one is the short welded and rails and the another one is the long welded rails so now with the help of these short welded rails we can achieve a length up to for 300 meters and using the long welded rails we can achieve a length up to 400 meters and we also have one more type that is the continuous welded rails continuous welded rails so with the help of the continued welded rails it is possible for you to achieve the rail length up to three to four kilometers so that's a greater length that we can achieve with the help of the welding so this is how uh, we have to decide what should be the length of the rail section you need to provide and what should be the weight of the rails that need to be provided so with this i'll conclude this session and uh, in the next coming session we will be discussing upon the what is the rail weight and what are the defects in the rails and uh, what are the failures in the rails with so respect to the failures we will be looking in the further sessions thank you so much